an image getting national attention tonight, the dad of Pulse nightclub shooter Omar Mateen resurfacing at a Hillary Clinton rally. Yeah, he was seen behind the Democratic candidate during her event in Kissimmee last night. We have team coverage tonight. Nadine Yanis will join us with reaction from survivors of the nightclub shooting in moments. But we begin with News 6 investigator Mike DeForest. He's live in the newsroom. Mike, what is Hillary Clinton saying about this? Well, a Clinton campaign official says they were unaware Sadiq Mateen was at that rally. We asked the campaign what they think about it now in hindsight or what uh, Clinton would say to Pulse victims and their families. Uh, the campaign would not respond. Met with some of the surgeons who were there in the hospital to receive the wounded. As Hillary Clinton spoke about the Pulse nightclub massacre, the father of gunman Omar Mateen stood just feet behind the candidate, at times snapping photos with his phone. Just Sadiq Mateen to told a West to Palm Beach TV station he received an invitation to the Kissimmee to event to because he's a registered Democrat. But according to a Clinton campaign official, the rally was a 3,000 person open door event for the public. This individual individual wasn't invited as a guest, and the campaign was unaware of his attendance until after the event. The FBI still has an ongoing active investigation into the Pulse nightclub shooting. Agents have interviewed Mateen's wife and his father. Neither have been accused of any crimes, and both are free to travel wherever they want. We asked the FBI whether it knew Sadiq Mateen was going to attend the Clinton campaign rally, but an agency spokesperson did not respond. Likewise, the U.S. Secret Service, which is responsible for ensuring Clinton's safety, did not respond to our questions about whether it was aware the candidate would be in such close proximity to the father of an ISIS sympathizer. Now we want to know how the Clinton campaign selected who would be allowed up on that platform back there standing behind the candidate. They did not answer that question either. Now surprisingly, neither Donald Trump nor his campaign have commented about this matter, even though Sadiq Mateen has pledged his support for Hillary Clinton. Matt. All right, Mike DeForest, thanks. Our team coverage continues now with strong reactions from two Pulse survivors who were also at yesterday's rally. Yeah, and their responses to the controversy are vastly different. New Six reporter Nadine Giannis is live outside night, Pulse nightclub. And Nadine, I can't imagine running into him. Did either of these men see Sadiq Mateen at that rally? No, they didn't. And in fact, they didn't even know that he was there until they woke up to the news this morning. And that's when I spoke to them right afterwards. And again, both of them were equally shocked, but both have very different feelings about being in the same room as Omar Mateen's father. In death, it it is life and death, but a guy that is father to a murderer. Though these guys survived the same horrific shooting that killed 49 at the hands of Omar Mateen, they have stark differences on how they feel about his father coming back to Kissimmee to Clinton's rally yesterday. That's a rally that they, as Pulse survivors, were invited to. I mean, I'm still shocked that I met her and I shook her hand and we spoke to her and everything. But this morning, Jacoby Sabalo feels that moment meant nothing, not understanding how or why the Clinton campaign could have Omar Mateen's father front and center, all smiles while she addresses the very subject of Pulse. And I know how many people, family members, loved ones and friends are still grieving. It's really sad. It's just very um, anger. And then to come back to Orlando where, you know, his son um, created a devastation, it's also a little bit mind blowing. But Chris Hansen feels it could just be a coincidence saying Sadiq Mateen is an American who has his own freedoms. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not upset. And I, and I explained to Jacoby that he's allowed to have his opinion and that he's allowed to feel and express how he feels. Because there are people who are, who are upset with this. There are people who are going to be like, he's just like anybody else trying to show support. Adding in the end, this father didn't kill the 49. It was his son. It's the, some people riled up, some aren't. Um, me, myself, you can't blame a parent for what their child has done. So Chris Hansen, who you just heard, says that he is still leaning on voting for Hillary. As for Jacoby, well, he says this could very well change his vote. One thing I did speak with uh, another survivor who actually met with Hillary Clinton the day that she came and visited the Pulse Memorial. She actually sat down and talked to him. I asked him if he's still voting for Hillary. He says he will. He still supports her, but tells me it's just very weird that Omar Mateen's father was in that room last night. Ginger, Matt. Weird indeed. Nadine Giannis reporting live for us. Thank you.